smile on that face. Hey farm hands, Ryan Nash here. So on today's episode, we're going to be start working on uh, the Joker uh, Pico build for the contest for Nano Reef. So we're on to the next episode. So today, on um, the last episode, we end up uh, disassembling all the parts that was to the gumball machine. Actually, uh, the base of it right now is at uh, Reef Weeds, uh, Rachel uh, Fogger's house, getting a custom paint job, and I can't wait to see it. Um, if you guys tune in, uh, I think tomorrow, or the day after, it's gonna be live on Instagram, so we can all watch it together, actually do some of the custom painting on it, so it's gonna be awesome. And uh, I'm gonna add it into uh, the video when I go put everything together so you guys can see it. So it's gonna work out pretty good. So I got all the components today, what we're gonna do, uh, we got the piece of glass for the fish bowl. We're gonna clean that all up, make sure it's got no oils on it or anything. Um, I got the piece of acrylic here, I end up cutting it out. Um, my, my acrylic saw actually broke on me, so I actually had to just use a hand saw, but we got it all worked out. I just used a piece of uh, square acrylic, uh, just like this one here, and just cut a piece out of it. This is gonna go on the bottom. A lot of people say, you know, don't use acrylic on the glass, but I'm gonna rough up all the edges on here and on the glass and to seal it. It's such a small tank, there's not that much of uh, uh, pressure that's gonna be on there. So tonight, we're gonna silicone everything to the bottom, plus I have a ring to go around it. It's almost like a little bit of extra support. We're gonna drill, get everything through here for all the plumbing that's gonna go on into here. and. Uh, just do all that together. So first off, we're gonna, we're gonna clean this out and we're gonna get ready for this piece of acrylic. So just to clean it up, and I wanna rough up the edges so uh, the silicone uh, help, helps adhere to it better. So this is, it, it's a little, just a little, some sides here, it's a little bigger than I wanted. So we're just gonna sand, up, sand it off and rough it all up. So it's gonna give something for uh, the uh, silicone to adhere to. It's a lot rougher. Plus this sits so far down into the gumball machine that there, it can't even move. So the pressure itself and the silicone is just gonna hold it, you know, keep everything together in the water. So pretty excited. You should see some of the corals I'm gonna be putting in here. It's gonna be awesome. And that paint job that's gonna be on the, the bottom of it's gonna be like the Joker theme. Pretty excited, whatever you're gonna do there, Rachel. Trust your creativity. We just sand that right up so, so you guys can see it's a little rough around the edges. So that's gonna give a little something for uh, the silicone to adhere to. I'm gonna polish that up. But at the same time, there's a little bit of dust on here, so one of my favorite things for cleaning glass and stuff on tanks, and you wanna save yourself a lot of money, you go to Walmart, pick up a great big jug of uh, uh, just white vinegar, and just mix it with some water, and just put it in a spray bottle, and you're good to go. You're just cleaning off your tank, and if you get a little bit in your tank, it's almost like carbon, carbon dosing, so it's not the end of the world. You never want to use chemicals, but look at that bottle. And it cost me like a dollar to get a big bottle of white vinegar and you just keep mixing, mixing. Save all kinds of money. Don't spend all your money on that stuff that's in the stores. So I'm feeling like that's pretty good. You guys see that? I'm gonna clean that right up. Um, so here's our glass and there's the ring around the bottom. So we just gotta get a good bead of silicone and we're gonna put that right on just like that. You guys can see. And then I'm just gonna put the silicone around in, inside it as well. And I'll just take my finger around there and just clean that up really nice. But before I even do that, I need just I want to drill some holes here. And this is where I'm gonna hide all my tubing. I got some uh, tubing right here, just your normal air tubing. And I have where'd it go? And then I just got like an, an RO connector. It's got a threaded end on it, but it, it'll take a quarter inch. It'll take this perfectly, so it just sticks right in the bottom, just like that. And we're gonna drill our plate. Put that in there. Boom. And then what's gonna happen is the rock work, for the aquascape I'm gonna do in here, I'm gonna hide the extra piece of tubing that's gonna come up through here, and that's what's gonna aerate the water. It's gonna move the water around, any of uh, you know detritus or anything that's in there, any of uh, you know gases build up, so it keeps the little microfish happy, and the corals, and uh, I'm gonna have some nice macroalgae in there. It's definitely create a lot of flow and some oxygen, and I wanna make sure it's really nice and clean, clean lines, so I wanna make sure everything's hidden. So, this is pretty much ready to go. I checked it out. We put it on the bottom. It's pretty even all the way around the edges. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm gonna have just like a nice amount of uh, live rock in the middle. I don't want it to overtake this piece. It's like almost like a piece of art. You don't wanna overtake it. You wanna build enough room in there with sand and everything. So I'm gonna drill, probably drill it a whole offset to the middle a little bit so I can hide all that tubing and you'll never see it. So that's what's going on here. Um, so with this RO, like they couldn't have anything to thread it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill the whole uh, perfect size. So you can almost thread this in, put a bead of silicone. I end up getting this little piece of plastic. What we're gonna do is it's almost like a washer. I put an extra piece of silicone on there and I'm just gonna take my saw and just cut that. So this will help 
put a little bit of pressure onto that piece of acrylic, just like that. We're gonna cut that with the saw and put that together. So what we have to do now, so we got that all cleared up. Just get a, get a drill. I've got a bit that's pretty much, it's gonna fit it. Might have to ream it out just a little. Just like that, drop something. So I'm just gonna pretty much just find the middle of this and we're just gonna take a bit and we're gonna drill it out. So we got one little hole through it. You guys can see the bit's not quite the right size, so all we have to do, and if it's acrylic, we just ream it out. Just take your time and just ream out the hole. This way and get like a really nice tight fit. And then just, you know, take your size and just make sure, just keep trying it till it fits perfectly. You know, I read a lot of people, they're, you know, they're Pico tanks, they have a lot of trouble keeping everything, all the parameters and check. So I'm gonna try to see what I can do to make mine run more efficient. So we're almost there. I can just almost thread this right in. We're almost there. Almost. See that? It's almost just threading right in. That's what we're looking for. Just, just a little hair more off of her. Be nice to have just the perfect right size bit. Save a lot of this hassle. So yeah, so out there. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm not gonna ram it all the way in there yet. So I'm just gonna grab my uh, sandpaper, do the same thing. I want it a little bit rough right there. So uh, I just put a bead of silicone, it'll help adhere to it. So just clean that right up. Perfect, so we're good. And uh, to make sure it's very important is get all that dust off there because that silicone won't like that. So there we go. So right now, let's just grab some paper towel. Grab our really cheap uh, aquarium cleaner and just spray it on there a little bit. Just like that. And we're just gonna clean this all up real nice. So make sure and let it dry. So the cone doesn't like to stick to wet surfaces. And then we'll just set that to the side. And then we're gonna clean up the Clean up the tank, glass piece itself. But if you feel that edges where we took that uh, sandpaper right there, just roughed it up, it feels really good. So we're just gonna set that to the side, we'll let that dry up a bit. So now it just, uh, while it's open bottom, it's so much easier to get some uh, spray in there and clean it right up really nice. and just uh, clean that glass right out. I love vinegar and water, it's awesome. Really cleans really, really well. And it's safe for your tank. You don't have to worry about poisons and stuff. Clean that up real nice. You wanna make sure there's no oils or anything around the bottom so it doesn't let the silicone adhere to it. It's awesome, these little builds, isn't it? But as long as that inside's really clean, we can get the outside later. That's what it's about. So that's, look through there, that's pretty shiny. That looks pretty awesome. Can't complain about that. 
some people tell me sometimes with these globes and stuff, they'll start to like uh, discolor or they're not clear. But I lucked out. This one like perfect clear. You can just see perfectly through it. It's awesome. So don't have to replace it. Clean that up. So well, the next part is we're going to put that piece of uh, that RO compartment in here for the for the air supply. This is the one I got. I got a top fin. This one's here is rated for like five gallons. That's awesome. So and it fits perfectly in the base of the Joker. So everything's gonna be all nice and hidden and clean. That looks decent to me. All right. So now we're gonna take our piece here, set that to the side, and then we got our RO line. So I just bought this little package of silicone, some pretty awesome stuff. It was like at home Lowe's or something there for like $12. That's all we need. It's handy, you just keep it in the drawer if you ever need to work on something. So we're gonna do this part now. So everything's nice and dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bead around, the, around here before I end up starting to screw that right in. Be generous, it's all gonna smear out anyway, but it's gonna help make a nice seal on it. So just take that, I can just put enough on there, put it through the bottom, right, just like this. Just screw that in. Perfect, just sitting just like that, can't complain. There, and there's just a little bit of silicone around the bottom, just go around the edges, help get a little seal. So that's good, that part's good. Now I said like before, I'm just gonna take uh, this little piece of plastic I got, we'll just measure it out, what we need, because it's just gonna be like an extra little uh, seal on here. I got a little saw here, just a little miniature saw, and just saw a piece off. It's almost putting like a washer on, it's just gonna give it a little bit more support. All right, so I changed my mind a little bit. I was thinking with the glass and with the sand, if I just put this piece right on here, it'll come up into the sand a bit so it won't disturb it. So I think that'll work even better. So that's what we're gonna do. Just changing this on the fly. So what we're gonna do is just add, add a little bit more silicone around here. So it'll just help give it a little bit more support on it. Just like that. Take your white piece and just push it right on there. So it's gonna come up through the top. And then just take your finger with your silicone, go around the edges just like that, see? A little excess, but don't be shy. And then we're gonna let that dry up. So now we go, we got our RO, it just plugs right in the bottom. We're good, boom. Now that's our air supply. So now I can hide a stone over top of that. So now the next part, we're gonna have to get something to sit this on as well. Because now we're gonna do the silicone around the glass. That's the next part. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take this small uh, screwdriver and I'm just gonna make, it is pretty rough, but I really wanna rough it up and actually make a nice little groove in here that'll actually help it here to the glass and it's something for the silicone to latch onto. So I'm just gonna take it and just carve it all the way around the edge. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see that. So now you can actually feel it with your finger and that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. So almost all the, way, all the way around the edges. Almost there, guys. Boom, there we go. So I'm just gonna take my rag again. I just wanna make sure there's no dust left on here. Just take your time. 
So there you go. So we're all roughed up, pieces all the way through. So all we have to do now is just add a bunch of silicone to the to it. Want to make sure there's nothing on any film or anything on the bottom of that. All right, so here comes that part. So now I got to make something because now that I got the tube through it, I guess I could well, I could put it upside down and we can do it like that as well. So I'll bring you guys in here. We'll check it out. All right, so we got our bottom piece. We got our silicone. I got this upside down. So make sure when you do it, you put it the right way. So here's the RO in and out latch. You, you don't want to make sure and put it backwards. So we're gonna put a bead on here. All the way around the edge. Be generous with it. You can always—it's going to be hidden anyway. You won't see it, but just make sure you got a nice bead all the way around it. For twelve dollars, who cares if you waste some? It's definitely worth it. Oh. I'm already making a mess already. But at least the silicone, you can take it off. Not a big deal. And if the silicone's in the inside, it's going to be hidden by the sand anyway. It's good. So now we're going to take our piece, make sure your make sure your RO is at the bottom, and we're going to place this right on here. Make sure it's centered, push down on it. That looks decent. We'll put some weight on that after, so you guys can check to see that. Just like that. All right, farm hands. So we got it all siliconed up. I think that's as far as we can go today. I uh, just want to make sure that it adheres really, really well to that glass, and then I'll probably. I did already did a bead on the inside, but I'll probably just make sure everything's uh, really well done. Doing, we'll do a leak test on it, make sure it's good, and then uh, we can start adding all the you know the rock, the sand, all that good stuff. Get the cycle going, and then we can wait uh, for uh, reef weeds uh, send back the base of the Joker theme. It's going to be awesome. All right, farm hands. So we got that all siliconed up. I'm going to let that sit for a few hours and make sure everything's really adhered really well. And then what I have to do is I'm gonna do a leak test on it, make sure nothing's leaking, we don't want that happening. And then uh, we have, wait for the base to come back from uh, Reef Weeds. I think she's doing an, uh, an Instagram live painting on that, so it's awesome. If you guys can tune in this week, it'll be awesome, and we can uh, interact and check that out. Um, then next episode, hopefully, we can start adding all the sand, the rock, the water, mix everything up, make sure all the parameters are right, start that little cycle on there and then hopefully the base is back and we can set that all up. And I can't wait to show you what corals I got on there. I got some real cool uh, different stuff gonna go in there and some really uh, small little micro fish. It's gonna look really sweet. And then the contest will start because it closes at the October, I think it's October 30th. This thing has to be up and running by then and then it runs till next March. And whoever uh, everyone votes for on a nano reef, it's gonna be the winner and some cool prizes coming up. So that's gonna be wicked. So, all right, guys. So, thanks for tuning this week. I really appreciate it. Um, so, stay tuned for the next episodes. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Why so serious? Let's put a smile on that face.